Well, what's wrong with my tags? I think the tags are automatic. Sync test. Jump, jump. Seems good. Now, audio balance check. Move microphone into the designated area. Assume the position. All right, check. Checking, checking. Test, speaking. Testing, speak, majig, do my flotcher. Probably all right. I guess tell me if it's not. Actually, I'll, I'll turn it down just like, I'm going to turn it down like half a notch. Okay, now we're switching. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to try and get that mixer within the next couple months. And then hopefully put it in a position where it's not a pain in the butt for me to actually get to it. I'm like this. So hello Langton, hello Yoshin, hello anybody else that might be in the chat but didn't say anything. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes. Okay. So, welcome back to Dustin Stream. Hopefully this time with fewer blue screens. But we'll find out. Knock on wood. I'm still kind of... I'm always conscious about the microphone positioning now. But I guess I just gotta trust in the heart of the cards. Or something. So... We got 100 coin stars shines to get. We got no time to waste, so let's get right to it. Lift up my pants a little bit. Furrow my brow. Oh. Yeah, I'm a moron. I think that's twice I've done that in a row. I am... So smart, the, the mega genius. God, sometimes it hurts being this intelligent. The doctors say that I have three days to live because my brain is just too big. So, I heard that yeah, you can get a good few coins from, like, every... Every manhole. Oh, no, go back. I mean, in real life, you can get a few coins from a manhole, but that's called prostitution, and I don't support that right here, right now. Roxanne, you do not have to sell your body to the night. Okay, so now that I've gotten the super easy coins, we gotta look for the harder one. Okay. Why, why again does that bounce all the way over there? 
just just for the sake of it. Well, you never you never can tell what to expect. Could be anything. That's the thing you gotta realize. There's no coins in these. I'll just open the one. The other one can uh, just... Whatever, I'll do it. Sorry, Pianto. Hello, Miles. You just missed the part where the stream just started and I've already hit commentary rock bottom. Okay, so there's some over here. Grab the ledge of the box, survive all fall damage. Wasn't there like... Maybe? I don't know. I don't care enough. Oh, well, okay, back down. D <laughs> okay. Is that the one? Why is that one the only one with uh, coins on it? Okay, doing good. Doing good so far. I probably want the hover nozzle when if I'm going on the, the girders or whatever it is you want to call it. Was there like a blue coin in here or a one up or something? I mean, a lot of blue coins are replaced with one up, so. The presence of one does not necessarily deconfirm the other. So now I need to get back on the roof. Go for a little rooftop run. I'm going on a rooftop run. You guys need anything? Oh, almost did not do that. Okay, gotta get the blooper coin. Of which there are a few. Thank you, Blooper. No. <laughs> Mario, the idea is you land on the squid. There's probably quicker coins that I could be getting first, but... but do I? Well, I mean, it's probably already faded by now. Oh, greeny stash. Hello. We're off to a good start so far. And I jump down. I don't even get the coin. Hurrah. Howdy do. I mean, do do enemies respawn in this game? I forgot. Our, you guys are like the worst. Wait, did they go? I chose mission three because I was told that mission three has has many coin. Maybe they just always go in a specific cardinal direction. Yep, we got all the regular shines. Now we're going for 100 coins, and then after we're finally done doing that, we're going to beat the game. Hopefully. Nope. Coins just do whatever they want. That's all I know to say about coins, is that they just- Coins do whatever coins want to do. The first step is to, uh, go over here. And suffer, like, 
three different tornadoes all at the same time. Mario! Mario! You Italian ignoramus! These guys, I don't think, uh, give any coin. No, no coin from those guys. Oh, uh, can we stop tornadoing for like three seconds? of you to assume that I would not get back. Oh, yeah, I think I see. Yeah, there's some, like, coins, but you gotta drop off to get those. I'll save those for, for last, if need be. Alright, now. Where's the coins? There's some over this way. I am scared of squid. And I am scared of all my coins falling into the abyss. Yeah, there's some right there. Also, the, there's two squids there that I don't think I got. Are there any coins, like, in in there? Is this entire path, like, just bust? I think so. So yeah, let's go this way. Okay, first thing I wanna do, I want to, uh, Squid up. Oh. Well, at least I see these coins down here. Is this gonna be the final sunshine, sunshine stream? Uh, possibly. It all depends. It all depends on how long doing this takes me. Any others in the water I should know about? Don't tell me I'm going to uh, not have enough because of... Because of those... Good... No, I think I'm good. There's a... Uh... Well, I'm going to get the ones you get by falling off because I don't want to go through the trouble of having to... You know, hover into all of those. Every single one at a time. Mario, swim faster. Swim faster. There's still plenty at the very top. Like, what do you mean, very top? Like, like the very top is in, like, up there? Or the very top, like, over here? What's the very top? I mean, I didn't see any in the yellow tube. The yellow tube mobile. But that could be on me. But first, I need to get revenge on the cephalopods. Oh, there's some cephalopods. Oh, you can stun them. Okay. Okay, there's a... 
There's another bloop. Did I get this bloop? No. Did not get that bloop. Nope. Oh, okay, bye. Does stunning them make the coin bounce straight up? You know, it might. It could. But I think I lost the other guy. I think he's gone. I think he's dead. I killed him. Okay. So if I get it, if I get it with this coin, I might need the rocket nozzle in order to uh, actually get the shine. But it's all but confirmed that no, actually, I, I need the rocket nozzle to get the coin. Unless there's just some like coins over this way I didn't see because draw distance. I don't know, but there's a rocket nozzle. Could be some coins in the Yoshi area. Well, no, I doubt it since this is mission three. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how this game works. Spray this. Do you get, are there any coins I get for spraying stuff? Up here. First, before I like go hog wild, I'm gonna check to make sure there's no easy coins right at the start. That I may have missed. Oh, there's a crate over here. Nope, no, uh, no coin in that. Just, just gonna check the start real quick for easy coins. There might be some on the roof, actually. No, actually, there's not. There we go. I might as well collect the other few to increase my coin high score. Okay, let's go get it. Thank you. Okay, now where's our next stop? Where is it? Okay, so it's gelato. What is the optimal mission for gelato? Let me see. Says episode eight is a good one. I just don't want to, you know, start collecting 100 coins and then learn that there's not enough. So I'm just being a little extra cautious. All right, let's get over there. Dang it. Oh, that's what it's that's what it's saying to do here so uh, what what do you guys think would be optimal
I don't know. The guy told me to do it, so I'll do it. Okay, so let's try and get every non-melon coin we can first. Oh, oh, no, treat. Okay, so there's four on top of each of these trees. So that'll bring us up to 12. And then there's some on the swing. There's about five on the swing there. I love that you can do the spin jump in air. Okay, there we go. So do the cataquacks give you coins? I don't remember. Probably do. So do I have to actually kill them or... I mean, granted, if I don't kill them, I'm probably not going to be sure which ones I have and have not gotten. Oh no, the poop. Yes, they do. So, get over here. Oh, and that guy just kind of walked into it, which is good for me. Oh, well, that's not. <laughs> Still got me somehow. Yeah, come, come over here, come. Uh, I'm trying to get his attention. Because there's a very easy melon right here. Okay, so it would be nice if these guys were not bothering me as I was trying to get it. Okay, so melon right here. Right here, melon. Oh dang, these things do not. Oh, okay. That's even better, actually. So you can do this how many times per melon? Like one? I, not one. Ten, I think. Oh, okay. Trick does not work anymore. Okay, there it is. Good, good melon collision detection. Just crush the melon on a slope. I, I haven't been counting how many attempts I've done. <laughs> Probably should have. Just get, get smashed. Okay. But there's some coins in here. Might as well get those, too. Okay, get down. Like, really, if you need to get a melon up this, up this slope, you're just screwed, man. Melon does not cooperate. All right, cool, cool melon. It might be like 30 times a melon. And let's let's go up to the top. Let's let's get some of the less tedious coins first. Oh, I say as I get flung upward for massive damage. Okay. So there's probably some up here. Okay, come on, come on. I 
I mean, can definitely get some bird coin, but I don't want to. That's even more tedious than the melons, to be truthful with you. Yeah, there's not a lot of coins in this in this level. If you do not use melon melon trick. Oh, there's coins up there. Any down here? Right now? Yeah, there's one at least. Oh, there's a couple. Okay, that's it, I think. Yeah, trying to 100% this game with no outside help is kind of a pain in the butt. I spent ages looking for blue coins off, off stream. And then it turns out the one I was missing in Delfino Plaza was like one of the most obvious ones possible. So that's, that's fun. I liked it when that happened. What are you supposed to do for those? Is it are you supposed to swing on swing on it? <laughs> and there's some coins under here. Yeah, we might just have to resort to melons. It might be the most practical thing to do. Well, let's go. Let's do it. I'll get that cataquack on the way over. Mario, as he has moved one, one foot off the ground. Wee hee hee. Okay. Now we just have to roll the melon up the slope. Which is a feat. Yep, there we go. That's, that's it for that melon. That's all you get. Yep. Okay. So, new new melon, new tactic. Let's just uh, get us a cataquack party going on. Probably not going to be able to get the third one. No, I got it. Oh, there's another very convenient one. Let's just get this guy out of the way so he doesn't bug us the whole time. Watch it. Okay. So, okay, one. Since I haven't watched your streams in a while, what are you streaming currently? Well, right now, this, Luigi's Mansion 3. Okay, that's two. And, um, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, uh, Link's Awakening. So mostly contemporary stuff. There's some occasional Sonic Adventure and Tony Hawk thrown in there, though. A little bit of Smash Brothers every now and then. But those are more irregular. So, was that three? Three. Four. Five. Had 64 coins just then. Six. 
seven. Yeah, we're we're probably overdue for another Tony Hawk. How about those? You guys just count for me since I I lost I completely lost count thinking about Tony Hawk. Yeah, I'm. I've never played uh, any Fatal Fury or King of Fighters games, but Terry's t Terry's pretty fun. So I mean, yeah, about ten coins. Terry's Terry's a pretty cool new character. He's. I think people have described him as a. Uh, as like Ryu but slower and more powerful and I can I can see that oh you can't can't use it can you use it can you probably can't use these okay so 70 and yeah Terry has a bunch of English and you know I'm always down for that pardon me Oh, there's some right there. Some coin and the rocket nozzle. Which, I mean, I think I've come to terms with the fact I'm gonna need the rocket nozzle at this point. Is Yoshi in this mission? I don't think so. I think I went by the peninsula over here. And I don't think I saw him. But I'm gonna double check. Okay, so yeah, I can't use the bees. Can't use the bees to do my bidding. That's not good. But... Yeah, if I can get the bees to leave me alone for long enough to do that, and I did... Oh, but see... The competition's already happened. This is a time warp. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little tedious. Can't say we're ending sunshine on a bang, but <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? If you could just kind of like dive kick the melons like you can the smaller fruit, then this would be so much easier. Playing a little keepy uppy. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what I'm saying. Unless this, I mean, unless it's more like, you know, Scrooge in a Christmas carol where. He's not actually in the past, he's just seeing things as they happened back then. He's just allowed to witness. These melons are a mystery to me. If you open up the sunshine source code and you look under the melons, it just says code equals yes. My first exposure to Scrooge McDuck was um, like one of those Mickey Mouse, House of Mouse Halloween, not Halloween, Christmas specials. Very different holiday, I don't know if you noticed. Granted, as soon as one ends, it feels like the other begins. Uh, so I was very shocked to learn that he was not named Scrooge McDuck for the sole purpose of starring in a Christmas Carol parody. I mean, he was named after uh, Ebenezer Scrooge, but, but not for the purpose of being in a Christmas Carol parody. I haven't been counting, but I feel like this melon might have exceeded the normal amount of coins. I 
I feel like the comics were were more of a thing in other countries than they were in America, I think. Where I, I think most people in America know Scrooge McDuck because of the cartoon. Oh, there we go. I mean, I could be speaking entirely out of my butt. I don't actually know. I'm not the duck... I'm not the DuckTales... In in the DuckTales, man. Oh, are you saying the stream skipped? That's, uh, not good. That's not good if it's doing that. The chat animation. It shouldn't be. I've been doing that for, like, a million years. Let me see. What's, uh... What's going on here? What's taking up the most memory? OBS Studio and Firefox. Let me try closing Firefox. And, uh... Let's see, anything else particularly suspicious? I'll close Game Maker Studio. Well, I'm just taking preventative measures. So hang on while I uh while I jot something down. I'm going to check back in a minute to make sure it's not like OBS's browser source or anything. Right now it's taking up a fair bit of memory, but not more than I'd honestly expect. No, I think it, it I think it went back down. Memory went back down, so so let me write down what how much memory OBS itself is using. Now, it doesn't seem to be, like, leaking. It seems to be fluctuating a little bit, but not leaking. Okay, well, tell me if it skips again. Are you normal OBS or Streamlabs? Uh, OBS Studio uh, and normal, normal OBS Studio. Just like I said, just tell me if it skips again, because I I need to narrow it down. But this seems to deconfirm my theory that it was uh, any of the new stuff I've installed recently. I think. Well, I mean, not any of the new stuff, but like. I installed Classic Shell. I installed Classic Shell, uh, a Windows XP theme, and an RSS client. I, I thought the RSS client might have been to blame. But... Now it seems like that's not the case, if it's still doing it. But yeah, in order to... Uh, Mario, please. Mario, go back up. Okay. In order to prevent another blue screen, like I said, it's imperative that I, I know if it keeps happening. Yeah, I mean, I had a feeling it wasn't a classic shell or the theme, but I wanted to be on the safe side and just check anyway. Like I said, my prime suspect was always the RSS client because I figured, well, maybe it keeps downloading, like, new stuff and doesn't clear out the old stuff it had. I don't know. Very possible. I'm not good at this video game. <laughs> but yes, unless I'm streaming Tony Hawk, the recording should be all right if my computer were to blue screen in the middle of this. 
I thought it wasn't before when I did Luigi's Mansion, but FL FLV I think is very forgiving when it comes to closing the file properly. Whereas the other formats, not as much. But yeah, it could be a Firefox extension or something. So I don't, I don't know, because I, I did install a couple of those recently. I mean, you'd think that Firefox itself would have some kind of safeguard. Like some sort of, if Firefox is just rapidly uh, increasing in memory, then, uh, like, I don't know if there's... I, is there a way to even check? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm just putting things on the... On Mozilla that... that no! <laughs> oh my god, Lois. I need to stop saying that so much. But it's fun. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's some way to check to see how much memory a specific plugin has taken up on the Firefox side of things. I don't know. I've never I've never programmed a web browser. And I see no. Hello, hole. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. I mean, there are six coins up there. Though, if I keep failing at this, I'm half tempted to just kill the Cataquax for it. <laughs> I don't know about that one there, Chief. I have mixed feelings about that proposition. I, I like that the Family Guy game has cutaway gag mini games. Oh, thank God. Now, now, okay. What on earth do I do here? <laughs> like, do I do the spin thing I was trying to do before, or do I just jump off and dive? I'm worried that if I do this and I do it wrong, then I'm not going to be able to get back up. Let's see, what kind of height do I get? Okay, you do the spin. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I'm, I'm having a I'm having a minor brain blast, but it oh well actually it might be a bad idea. Ah, oh, does this get me? Not nearly high enough to get the coins. Okay, I'll try it like once or twice more. I mean, honestly, it's early. I got nowhere to be, so I could probably stream a little later than normal. Go for. Go for an extra hour, maybe if I have to. No promises, but I'm I'm contemplating it. Just because you know, I mean, no offense to Sunshine, of course. I mean it in the best possible way, but I would kind of like to get it out of the way at this point. Today, I show you the jankier parts of Sunshine. Well, now that I've accomplished literally nothing. It'd be nice if I could see where I was pointing.
I am this tempted to go for the Cataclax. I would love to play so many GameCube games again, but Nintendo won't give us give them to us until maybe 2022 20, on the Switch. I mean, that's assuming, of course, you get them at all. Because, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, the Switch is not exactly a powerhouse. So... I mean, it takes, it takes a bit of finagling to get GameCube games running well on the hardware. It has been done, though. Unless they just decided to make straight-up ports to the Switch. Which I doubt immensely. <laughs> okay, Cataquax. Here we come. Here we go. Let's Cataquax. Are there any, like, more convenient, like, ways to get these guys? If I just had Yoshi, I could, like, get the... I probably need the hover nozzle. This is gonna be tricky with the rocket. It's gotta be the chat. I mean, sometimes the chat will stutter. Like, does the whole thing stutter? Like, the whole stream? I mean... Oh, OBS has like a million freaking browser pages open, though. Uh, that's probably not good. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what to do in that regard. Like, let me see, what, what browser sources do I have open? Let me, um, let me get this to you guys here. So, the different game. Well, I mean, I would normally agree with you that it's something to figure out later. Except that this could potentially, like, you know, blue screen my PC if I don't figure it out. So shut down source when not visible. Shut down source when not visible. So that's an image. Streamlabs overlay. Okay, that's an image. All right, this is another one. Shut down source when not visible. I think it was something about graphics. No, but I don't think I ended up reading it too much besides just getting a general gist. So that's an image. That is an image. That is an image. All right, image. Image. 
Alright, shut down source when not visible. Image. Those shouldn't be a problem. That shouldn't be a problem. And neither should either of those. So let me check again. Okay, so OBS browser page. Let's just uh, in the process for all of those, just in case. Okay, so checking memory usage. Okay, OBS itself has increased a little bit maybe, but it's still kind of hovering around where it usually is. So yeah, now there's only two OBS browser pages open, which should be the chat and the browser, I mean, the Streamlabs overlay. And then we got OBS itself, which again is hovering about around the same place. So I guess I'll keep going. Tell me if it keeps doing it. And I'm going to check where OBS is in a moment. Okay. So, in the meanwhile... Oh. Oh, I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good. Please. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God. No. No. God. God, please. Well, today is just not a good day, is it? Chat is no longer accepting messages. Uh, and let me just, uh... Um, Let me get that for you, hopefully. Okay, my actual restream chat counts as a browser page. Like the one I have off to the side here. Yeah. I'll close that off. Sure. I don't need that extra screen on the memory. Switch sources real quick. Okay, so, um, it's like frozen. <laughs> uh, well, it's not set to shut down when source is not visible. Also, I ended up not making it wide enough. It's been one of those days. Okay, so now that life is pain. Okay, so just tell me if it keeps stuttering, I guess. I freed up some of the browser memory. Well, not stuttering, I guess it's... What's the word? Skipping, yeah, that's the word we use.
I'm not sure... I'm not sure what to do if it is the chat, though. I mean, I guess we can, you know, disable chat until we figure out what to do. Yeah, unfortunately, Frank or Face Z doesn't work with Restream Chat at the moment. I mean, worst case scenario, if it's Restream Chat itself that's somehow doing it, I could probably just have both YouTube and Twitch chats on screen at the same time. A little silly, but... You know, gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. I mean, granted, nobody, <laughs> almost nobody ever <laughs> watches me on YouTube. It's usually just Twitch. But still, I, I don't like to play favorites. Alright, let's get back to melon bopping and cataquack also bopping. I could just also just demand everybody use Twitch chat, even if they're on YouTube, <laughs> but that probably wouldn't work out, would it? Okay, so let's very quickly just get whatever we can here. Mario, let go. So is this just one of those go up ones? Yeah. Tis, tis. Okay, so you actually don't want to have that many Cataquack. Just, God, these things can combo you, like, unless you go in a very specific direction the game wants you to go in. Okay, well, I guess we got those three. Yeah, I wasn't able to get that one. Too much cataquite. Well, just like I said, just let me know if the skipping resumes. I've optimized, but I might not have fixed. And you know, we do gotta narrow. Okay, cataquite. And we do gotta narrow down what the issue is. I mean, mostly me, but any help is appreciated. Especially. If it's the restream chat, so I can, like, report that it's leaking memory. <laughs> but I don't even know if that's how that works. It might be, like, an OBS-specific thing. The optimization may have gotten rid of it for now, but not permanently. It may have just given, uh, it may just have given me more memory to work with. Instead of actually fixing the leak. Like, to put it into a sort of simile, instead of fixing the leak, I might have just uh, emptied out some of the water. Well, I mean, anybody who knows uh, how web browsers work, is it possible for a tab well, I mean, I suppose it's possible, but do most major browsers have an issue with tabs being able to leak memory like that? Oh. Yeah, uh, Luigi's Mansion 1 is definitely more beloved than the second game. I'm sorry I missed that coin. I'm just so caught up with memory leaks and the preventing thereof. Yeah, I think the original is still tops. Like, 
Like, I'm playing 3 right now, and it's too early for me to say, but I, I still think the original is the one. Is the one. Get smashed, Milan. Third one is pretty decent, though, so far. I don't want to diss it. Because, like, okay, they, they brought back Portrait Ghosts. Sort of, you know, like, more or less. Granted, I... I mean, I say Portrait Ghosts, but that's really just because... Ghost with unique character and personality... And design is just a little too long-winded. Like they don't actually have to be ghosts that put into be, that are put into portrait explicitly, but it's just Luigi's Mansion had some of that. Luigi's Mansion Two, Dark Moon, the second one, had some of that issue that some of the Mario games were having around that point, where it just seems like they went out of their way to just rob it of any character it could have had. I mean, okay, that's a little harsh, but like. Like, the only three unique ghosts, I think, are the sisters, and, I guess, spoilers, but not really, uh, King Boo, but he was from the first game anyway, so... <laughs> okay, so, I should probably try to get some of these guys first thing, rather than, uh... The problem is, there's nothing up here, really, to, uh... To destroy them with. Oh. Just let it, f let the game fling you in the very specific direction it wants to fling you. I wish I could watch Nintendo games with uh, spo without spoilery thumbnails. There are ways to prevent this. I mean, granted, it's not foolproof, but you know, it does help. Um. There are plugins that will block videos of specific criteria. And then you can also block YouTube thumbnails with, um, yeah, on mobile, you're kind of, you're kind of sunk. <laughs> that is very true. If only YouTube would just add that feature to their own site instead of making me add it for myself. But yeah, what I was saying, because I just want to finish the thought, you can use uBlock Origin to just block all YouTube thumbnails on PC. Though, granted, that's kind of the nuclear option. Yeah, Pro, Pro Safia Gaming, I think is what his name is. Dude, ba That dude basically makes a career on it. And, um, like, I don't want to be a jerk. I don't want to be a jerk about it. Like, I don't want to, you know, insult him personally, but at the same time... Stop! Stop! Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say, like... Like, some people will make fun of me for trying to dodge, quote, Mario spoilers. But it's really just, like... You know, I buy a game to play it, you know? And, uh... I want to experience things on my own, you know what I mean? But in the information age, it's getting harder and harder. And I mean, I totally understand if people don't want to watch my streams because they still want to play the game for themselves. Totally, totally understood on that, on that front. Like, let me put this way. If you're gonna make a video about something that happens in a game, you know, by all means, sure. Like, if you're gonna make a video about Luigi's Mansion, Final Boss, whatever, you know, like, yeah, man, that's that's fine, whatever. Just, just don't very blatantly put the boss in the thumbnail, is all I'm asking. Like, just, just, just keep your thumbnails a little bit <laughs> less. Uh, yeah. I mean, I understand you want to have a thumbnail that's like, 
indicative of the con the content of the video. But I don't know, man. Just Yeah, if you can't set thumbnails, then yeah, that's just whatever, man. But most people on YouTube can set thumbnails is the thing I'm getting at. Like you could just have, like if you're doing Luigi's Mansion bosses, you could just have like, I don't know, a picture of Luigi or I don't know, one of the like the first boss or something just to get the idea across you don't gotta put the final boss in there setting thumbnails should be a default feature what is it not do you have to like do you have to like get uh checked out for that like you have to apply for it i might have done that and forgot either way though i'm 90 percent sure like his his uh his thumbnails are custom anyway, so so the point is mood on that one. Where's the where's the sprout? There it is. God, this is taking like 300 300 year. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I understand sometimes there's not much you can do, but sometimes there is much you can do. And I, I ask that you please do it, if at all possible. Cataquack, 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 Cataquack. Okay, again. Let it fling you in the very specific direction. Or else the game will kill you. Beard Bear is funny because he's one of those guys that I, I think I know at least like two different people who watch, but I have never actually heard of any of his content. Okay. How do I get you over here? I might have, uh, I might have goofed. Either way, goof, goof is fine because he still ended up off the ledge anyway. Sheesh, how long have I been going at this? I've already been doing this an hour. <laughs> and I've only this is like the second one I'm doing. So it's I don't know, maybe there will be one more stream of this. I mean I'd like if there wasn't, but I mean no offense. Again. Maybe I'm confusing Beard Bear with somebody else. I don't- I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't- it doesn't matter. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Oh no, I gotta put my phone in silent mode, probably.
<laughs> and then sometimes, and then half the time it breaks when you're rolling it up a slope. I don't get it. Bold of you to assume that Midas Machine will ever come out. I mean, I suppose I don't have much room to talk. I mean, a little bit of room. Not a lot of room. Just <laughs> and I'm telling you, this, this melon, dude. This melon. Me melon. 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 Slow and steady, I guess. This is not one of... This is not one of Sunshine's high points, I will tell you that much. Okay, we got all of that one. There's some more Cataquacks here I can probably get. Okay. Just kind of bring them to the edge. Just walk them along the edge here. There we go. That was an optimal maneuver now just walk over here to the sprout didn't know I had the hover nozzle on okay 66 there's still a few more up here few more. I'll get the coins that are up here at this point. I probably just should have gone for the bird money. Thank you, Mario. Okay, now for this. Again, the code for this thing is a mystery. Trying to do, trying to do physics in the GameCube era. Didn't always work out. <laughs> but Nintendo wanted to show what this new console of theirs had to offer. We wanted to show what the Nintendo GameCube is capable of producing realistic watermelon physics. I realized the structure of that sentence was entirely broken, but at this point I do not even care. What do I look like? An English major? Come on. Come on. No. No. I need you to produce coin over here. <laughs> yeah, Sunshine. Sunshine is very good at its chief gimmick, which is to say water. A lot of GameCube games were just all about water. Sunshine, Wind Waker, that sort of thing. And how can we possibly forget F-Zero, Captain Falcon drives a boat? Not the most creatively titled game in the F-Zero series. Yeah, I mean, I'm in the probably minority that thinks Sunshine's probably not the best choice for a remake for a variety of reasons. Like, I think it could work, but it would probably be suboptimal. 
Especially, again, because of the lack of analog triggers. Which I think are, are quite vital to the Super Mario Sunshine experience. I mean, yeah, you could probably just make them separate buttons, but I mean, like, okay, so you got, you know, little tiny, little, like, little tiny bit of push. And then you have, like, major push. I thought there was more than that, but... There's also, like, if you just very lightly tap it. I mean, I still personally think Sunshine looks just fine. But, I mean, also, I'm not most of the gaming, <laughs> gaming audience these days. Oh, no, no, please go back. Hmm, let's see, what, what GameCube game would I like them to remake? Are there, are there, are there any that I can think of that would be a good fit? No, none are coming to mind. Like, again, most of the GameCube games I would want them to remake, I, I think, still look, you know, fine for what they are. I mean, granted, they're 480p. And see, that, that's another one, I think. Like, I... Like, I love Thousand Year Door, but at the same time, I, I think that it... Uh, I think the Thousand Year Door still looks pretty good. Especially since most of the characters are, like, two-dimensional anyway. Okay, so if you're hovering, that's not really gonna work. Well, I mean, what I mean to say is you can't hold... You can't hold the hover as you're letting go, I don't think. Okay, I got some of those. Yeah, I think most of what I would do to, like, GameCube games would just be make them widescreen and make them run at 60 FPS, maybe. I mean, that's all I really need. Okay, now, I think I've made a huge mistake because... I'm pretty sure that with the coins that are available on top of, like, up there, that I should be able to, to get it. But I hope that it doesn't spawn too high. No, I, I don't think the reef has any coins. I mean, I'll, I'll double check, but I, I don't think it do. Doesn't look like it for sure. back to the shore. Let's see, what else is there? Mm -hmm. No, not a lot's coming to mind. Not a lot is coming to mind. But then again, like I said, for me, I, I still think a lot of older games still look pretty good. And even if I can admit you know, okay, no, they don't look very good nowadays. Um, bleep. Even if I can admit that they don't look very good, I still think that a lot of old graphics have a charm to them. Like, okay, uh, I'll be straight up and say, no, most Nintendo 64 games have not aged all that well. But I still like the way Nintendo... See oh, I just remembered. I just remembered. Oh, yeah, we are getting a Battle for Bikini Bottom remake, and that does count as a GameCube game, I suppose. But yeah, I just remembered that it doesn't matter where you... <laughs> it doesn't matter where you uh, collect the last coin, because the shine... This isn't Mario 64. And it'll just spawn in a preset location. Ah! Uh I didn't even do the glitch. Must this level take everything from me?
Yeah, I, I love Battle for Bikini Bottom, but not enough to spend $300 on it. I'm sorry. Well, at least we're done with that. So, what's what's next? Where's our next destination? Uh, Serena Beach. So, where's... I know I tried to do that before. So, Serena Beach. 100 coins. Says there should be. It says mission three should be a good one. <laughs> All right, so let's head over that way. Like I said, would still be nice to be able to finish it. And since I'm assuming no one has a. Uh, has a uh, sp spoken up, speaking up, spoke spoke up <laughs> about it that the skipping hasn't returned yet. Yeah, that's that's about the mission that I would have assumed had the best chance. All right, so we're gonna want to just kind of comb the outside area. I don't think there's any in the water. So just spray whatever you can think to spray. Like fire. Fireballs, yum. Okay. Crate expectations. Gonna bring that joke back from when I was playing the SpongeBob movie. That's a stream that, for some reason, I, I keep forgetting that that happened. <laughs> I keep forgetting I streamed that game. Okay, there's two up here. I don't know, at least this one should be a bit more involved. As opposed to gelato ram a melon into a wall for three hours. Beach. Oh yeah, that's the one part I, I definitely remember from that playthrough. <laughs> Was that maybe we shouldn't have stopped to spend our gift certificate at, at Dean's Fried Fish Flakes and Flounders. Which is hard to say, and I think I messed it up. I think I might have uh, left out the ill in uh, Flakes. Fish Fakes. Which, speaking of which, I didn't realize. I, I don't know if I realized it during the playthrough, or if it was too late. But, uh, when Patrick mentions Dean's Fish Flakes and Flagger Flagger, uh, that's actually the same place that SpongeBob gets the gift certificate to in Battle for Bikini Bottom. So I'm surprised to see that level of continuity between the two games. <laughs> SpongeBob's not exactly known for its heavy continuity. I'll say that much. I think that that one. No, there's a coin in there. I was wrong. So yeah, just want to get whatever you can get out here. Yep, yep, yep. Like I said, this one's not going to be an easy one, but it should at least be more involved. Yeah, yeah. Shake, shake. Okay, now I don't remember if there's any uh, up here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. Well, if I get up here, it might work better. Get up. If I get up here. Yeah, most of the Spongebob games are alright at best. I mean, there's a few that I have a nostalgic uh, attachment to. 
but not ones that I'd call good. Like, uh, Legend of the Lost Spatula is one of those I like it, but it's not good <laughs> games. Um, Super Sponge. Good music, not such a great game, in my opinion. If you disagree, then that's a okay, but that's just how I feel about it. Um, most of the ones that came during, like, the Wii Onward era. Okay, did I miss any coins out here, you think? Any, any of you guys know of? But yeah, I mean, Creature from the Krusty Krab is alright. I mean, it, I'd say it's a little above the Spongebob average, but not nearly to the level of the movie or Battle for Bikini Bottom. Any secret ones in the water? Like, you mean the... Like, this water or the ocean water? I mean, I didn't see any in the ocean. I don't think there's any here. Okay, well, I reckon I'll go inside. We can't think of any. I mean, those are barrels over there. I think that's just water, though. Oh. Well, I mean, if you're being serious, then too late. Yeah, I got the umbrella ones. Oh boy. <laughs> Spraying fire the stream. Putting out the fire. Ooh, boy. Mm, so fun. So much gameplay. <laughs> it just kills me, because in Mario 64, none of them, I feel like, are, this, are quite this hard. <laughs> but in Sunshine, they're just like, yeah, scrounge for that. <laughs> there are exactly 105 coins in this level. Find him, you moron. Okay, flower pot. Sink, any in the sink. Toilet. Toilet coin. Any toilet coin. What's up here? I don't even remember. Oh, this was like a blue coin area. Get that guy. That guy. Oh yeah, uh, Monkey Ball 2. Honestly, like, the fact that they chose to remake of all the Monkey Ball games, Banana Blitz, was very odd to me. Because, like, I, I want- I want to support the series. I want there to be more Monkey Ball games, but god, that- that's just like the blandest possible title they could have chosen, I think. It's like the new Super Mario Brothers of Monkey Ball. But I feel like if we do get something else, it probably will be a new game entirely. Because they were asking people what they wanted to see, like, they're like, oh, do you want to see another game remade? If so, which one? Or an and like, if not, like you want you want to see a new game? And the winner of the poll was new game, which I cannot disagree with. Just give me a give me a new monkey ball, 
give it some like actually decent level design. It's like have something actually interesting happen in the levels. And then you're good, man. Have my money. Take it. Oh yeah, they asked uh they asked people what they wanted most in a new monkey ball game. And the one the one that won that poll was the stage creator. Uh, you know, Monkey Ball Creator would also be a pretty decent way of, uh, making a good new Monkey Ball game. Just- just get the physics right and then let everyone else make the levels for you if you can't do it yourself. If you don't know how to make levels, then just- just let us do it. We'll do it for you. Couldn't really go wrong there, I don't think. Monkey ball maker. Wait, yeah, I just I don't know. I was watch I okay. I I'd only ever played Banana Blitz like once myself, I think. I don't I might have it, I'm not sure. <laughs> that that's probably not a good sign where I don't even remember if I own it. <laughs> Okay, so I can probably bring Yoshi back in here. Are there any coins on that side of things? I can't tell. But yeah, it just the level design is just very uninventive from the looks of it. And I feel like that's the two things you want you need to be good in a monkey ball game is the physics and the level design. Also, probably don't need a jump button. If you, if you ask me. Jump button just kind of runs counter to what Monkey Ball is, I think. But oh well, that's, a, that's enough about Monkey Ball, I think. Okay, now let's uh, get some coins from these boos. Yeah, false blue coin, because I've already gotten all of them. How rude. How absolutely deplorable. Yeah, but besides that... I can't think of too much on the GameCube I really want remade. You know, m most of it, I think, is good. I think, you know, I'm... I'm cool with the versions that exist, I suppose. But, I mean, I guess not everybody has their GameCube still lying around like I do. Maybe that's why Nintendo is just so lazy when it comes to releasing. Maybe not lazy, but hesitant or reluctant when it comes to their virtual console lineup is because they think everybody's like me and they just have they just have a Super Nintendo just plugged up and at the ready. They're like, just, but then again, they did release the SNES Classic, which which runs counter to that idea. Okay. Oh god, I'm one coin off. That is never a good feeling. I guess I could check that one room. Yeah. Mario Sunshine was like, just kind of... Hey, do you want like a different... Uh, do you want the Goombas to be like little men in pants for literally no reason? Oh, there we go. Like, sure, man. We got your back. Here's... Here's Pant Goomba with a big old nose. Pant's Nose Goomba. Oh my god. 
That that messed it up even worse than normal. That's amazing. <laughs> well, okay, maybe amazing is overselling it, but that was good. I appreciated that. Okay, where's our next stop? Uh, Noki Bay. And I'm pretty sure that I know what mission that we're gonna do. But let me just see what this guide tells me. Let's, let's see what the magic conch has to say. No, I don't want I don't want Thanos ad. I want 100 coins. Okay, what does this say? Use episode six. There's 50 over the water. But then again, you could also. Well, okay, I mean, well, let's see what episode 6 was, I don't even remember. I mean, if it was, if you could do, like, the, the, the mission 8, like, yeah, this, there's probably a lot of coins down there. But, let's, let's, you know, I'll trust the god, let's go for 6. Okay, so that's what it means. Is the turbo nozzle in this mission? I mean, I can swim around slowly and get all of those, but... I mean, they probably want me to take the boat, which I am absolutely not doing. You know, whatever. I'll just do it like this. waste a million hours of time. Yeah, apparently there's a good 50 coins just right here. So that does... So that does inspire some faith. Yes. The time to vote is coming. But... I choose to delay the inevitable. Yeah, this is easily the most riveting stream I've ever done. Like, what did you guys do? What did you guys do on this Thursday night? Oh, I watched some moron swim around at one mile an hour to collect gold coins. In a video game. That's how I spent my day. Okay, there we go. Enough for a life. Oh, and there actually is a secret coin spot that I know about. That I should be able to get to. Or wait, can you go down to the underwater zone if it's not the missions where you have to? Or is that only in those missions? I wonder. Well, if I get especially desperate, I know what to try. And I know there's, there's some right there, but I don't want to risk going in the waterfall just yet. Just in case you can go down there. Don't want to do that yet. Because there's still plenty of coins here to be got. Anyway, here's the secret spot I was talking about. Yeah, you can ground pound that to get a good view. Why? I don't know. But you can do it. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch in here. Yeah, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Mwah. Any coins in here? Worth discussing. Any 
coin? I mean, I don't think so. There's probably some coin in these tunnels, but that would probably be tedious and take me many years. Yeah, it's like Gelato Beach. Smash the melons, you nerd. Noki Bay. Ah, uh, here, have a million coins for literally nothing. Just, just a million coins everywhere. New Super Mario Brothers 2 mode. Oh, nope. I meant to get I meant to get up. There's probably some in there. Yep. Yep, there he is. Okay, nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, and there's a bunch of coins on the top of the waterfall, too, so... Whoop. 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 You're supposed to do platforming here, but just bypass all of that. I got a jetpack. Okay, and I don't think you get anything by watering the flowers. I think somebody said that before, but no. Okay, so... Where's the waterfall down for me? Uh, it's right there. Eh. Now, what does this give you? Okay, just uh, bouncing into the water. Are they down here? Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we, we're fine. We're fine. We got nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Just collect extra coin. Okay, now let's, let's get up. Gotta get up to get down. Now, which one of these spires did it spawn on? Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. Oh, okay. Okay, bounce. Bounce. Trounce and bounce. Okay, the red, the red one. Okay. I gotta go over there. Pretty much. I miss. Miss entirely. Good. <laughs> but what you fail to realize is that I am the master. The master, I said. Okay, whatever. Okay, now, where's the anything? I think I'm on it. Okay, so, do you, are you supposed to find them? Nice camera that doesn't move with Mario. Okay, there we go. I got it. I managed to coerce it. You gotta hold left on the stick. 
Oh yeah, you are supposed to go up here this way. That's right. Okay, now I have to be very careful. Oh no, I I I want to I want to have my cake and eat it. Okay. Yes, delicious cake. Possibly the best shot in the entire game. Okay, what's next? What's the next one? Okay, so the last one is Pianta Village. Now what? Now this one I definitely need help with. I don't know what mission has the most coins. Episode 5. Yes. Okay, so episode 5 it says, that is what the guide recommends. Let's do it. Gotta go get my rocket nozzle though. And then we can actually do the, the final thing. just for my own amusement. It amused me. Okay. Coin, coin up. The worst show on television. Okay, already I'm seeing a coin bounty. A coin bounty, paper towel. Best paper towel in town, best paper towel around. The stream not endorsed by bounty, but they should give me some money anyway. I, Dustin, accept any and all sponsorship because I am a complete sellout. Okay, so that's what they mean by there's coins. Oh, there's coins over there, too. But I'd rather not resort to those unless I need to. Because they look... They look dangerous. They look hard. Hard, hard to get coin. I don't like it. I do not like it. Yeah, see, the thing about live streams is... I choke on it on the first part, and then the, when the harder version comes along... I just somehow have no issue. That's how that's how live streams work. That's not even me. I'm not even bragging about like like oh man, I'm so good at video games, bro. I'm, I'm just trying to say like for some reason that's how streams work. It's like some kind of karma of the universe, some kind of divine energy. Well, okay. Last Impact is actually an exception, because Rainbow Road was exactly as horrible as I said it was going to be. Okay, so are there any coins in these crates? I don't think so. But of course I'm going to check again, just to waste the most time possible. No, I don't think so. Okay, so as we remember, we can ground pound the nose. 
So that knowledge did come in handy. Oh, oh yeah, the final level of Last Impact. Well, no, that that was horrible uh, on the first stream. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just the rest. The rest was what all I needed. Can't you ground pound these mushrooms, or am I misremembering? Ground pound tree. Oh, there's butterflies, but I think those are just for a blue coin. I can probably ground pound the mushroom. The gold mushroom, maybe. Not really, probably not. I don't remember what food Yoshi wanted, so I'm gonna have to go back over there and see. Okay. Anything? Your ground pound? Nope. Okay, looks like he wants a pineapple. Yeah, panap. Let's go get Yoshi a pineapple. And then we can eat the bees. So does pineapple grow on tree? Yes, it does. Very magnificent tree here that can grow any type of fruit you want. Like, what, what? Like, we got one tree in, uh, Pianta Village. Oh, really? What's your tree grow? What, which fruit does it grow? All, all fruit. Okay, just come on, come on down, bees. Okay, gotta get the coin, gotta get the coin. Don't care if I get hurt. Yoshi has a bee stuck to his face. <laughs> like, take a look at that before I remount. I have frozen the bee in time. Okay. Again, don't care if I get hurt, just want coin. What decides if you do and do not get hit by the bee? Like, what is the factor? Okay, well, we got that bee. So now we want this one over here. By the tree, the bee tree. A bee tree. That's a boy's name, I think. I mean, I've seen boys named Dimitri. Is that also a girl's name? Are girls called Dimitri? Does that happen? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Probably need to lead the bees. Away from the danger zone. Okay. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like bees. I don't like the bees. Oh, missed the coin. Missed the coin. Don't want to miss the coin. Oh, come on. Okay, well, here, here's good. Yeah, bees are good for money. Eat bees, get money. That's my advice for all of you in real life. Okay, and I think they said you can get the last three from... Yoshi, please get out of here. Please tell me Yoshi can- okay, thank god. Oh my god, that was like... <laughs> oh god, I don't like it. So, they, they told me you can get some coins from the wind thingy. So let's just, uh... Yeah, let's get a couple of them. Uh, no!
Give me my coin, you hack! Okay, I'm going to be stuck without one coin, aren't I? Come on, please, just give me that one last coin I need. Come on, spawn in, please. Please, I'm begging you. Come on, don't do this to me. Let me check just to make sure there's not a coin in the tree. I mean, I don't think I can rock it up to the top of the tree, can I? Not in this mission. Come on. Give me the whirly. Give me Captain Whirly. You're gonna play this game, aren't you? You're gonna do this. It's it cut it came down to that one coin that fell through the bridge. So I guess I'm going underneath. Well wait, let's not be hasty. Let's not be hasty. Let's Check around. All we need is one. There's not gonna be a single one in this entire level besides underneath, but... Okay, that was also an interaction. Okay, fire. Fire, no, no coin for spraying fire. All right, well, I guess we're doing it. On the bright side, it wasn't too hard to get those coins. Uh, don't knock Mario off, please. Okay. I just need to get these coins and then get back up. That is all that I need to do. Can't see. Can't see. Okay, thanks, Swing, for almost screwing me over. But thankfully, I had the foresight to pull out the hover nozzle. And now watch, now that I've gone and done that, that guy's gonna respawn. How much you wanna bet? How much money? Okay, maybe not. Maybe God is still real. Alright, probably the last chance we're gonna get to do that. So, I hope you savored every moment of it. Alright, now, Corona Mountain. At least I think. Let me, let me double check. Mm, yep, looks like it. Corona. Herp. Take a quick dip before I go into the volcano. Blue coins? Uh, there are blue coins in Corona Mountain. I got- I got all the blue coins except for the ones in here.
So don't worry, don't worry. I got I got every blue coin except for Corona Mountains. So we're all set. We are all set. Uh, this, this is a, this is a mission. Oh. Arriva Derchi. The Omni Death Spikes. Mercy Invincibility? Nah. Nah. You don't get that. You don't need that. I'm pretty sure the lava doesn't give you that either. So yeah, just don't just don't mess up. Just don't mess up, idiot. Okay, so is there a blue coin over on that one? No. Blue coin on that one? No. Not a blue coin on this one. Just gotta check them. I honestly didn't think to check how many were in the level. So this is your water refueling station, just like a chunk of fountain, <laughs> apparently. All right, so here's the part that sucks. Expect many, many lives. Okay. It, it. Okay, so if it, if you're on the back of the boat, the controls are inverted. That's that's the rule, I think. So you point right, you go to the right. No. Okay, now I'm now I'm a bit confused. Or maybe it's just, just to go the no 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 go through here check in every which way for blue coins now here's the tricky bit here's the trick Oh no, it's it's if you're at the front that the controls are inverted. Oh no 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 no. It's, it's hard to wrap your head around this, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think that comes as a surprise to anyone. But at least you get like water refills, I think. I think that's what the steam over there is. Eh. Eh. It's kind of a so this go to the left. No. No 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 Okay. Yeah, it's if you're at the top that the controls are inverted. Don't tap that. Don't lightly tap. Do not lightly tap the stalag the stalag whatever. Because the names are very similar and the difference is minuscule. Okay, one blue coin down. What feels like a million to go. Okay, 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 okay. Stop. Stop! Stop. Stop, don't go any further. Do not even contemplate. Uh, do not even contemplate. Do not even contemplate going the wrong way. Uh, 
Okay, there's another one. Now to somehow turn this boat around. Okay, just kind of scoot. Kind of scoot in the general direction. Ow, my bottom. It's still so weird to me that that didn't come out. Especially since this was the era of Nintendo where they absolutely were doing everything they could about with physical health and whatnot. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Nick knack the cat is back. Okay. Oh, we are very nearly there. Well, not really. Oh, hey, look, look at that blue coin right next to the stalags. That's cool. Thanks, Nintendo. Kind of inch forward ever so slightly. Eh. Eh, come on. Come on. Hit box. Hit by. There we go. Okay. Just kind of inch it along. Inch it along. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Like, the real mission isn't that bad. It's trying to get these blue coins, though, the worst thing ever. Okay. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Don't actually turn the boat, that's fine. No, no. I said steady as she goes. If you see me pause, it's because I'm checking the chat. I didn't. I never noticed that from the guitar before. But they say that your senses are elevated when you are under stress. So there's one. No, there wasn't one that way. It was just this way, right? I mean, I didn't say that the final mission was was nothing. I just said it's not, you know, that bad. Okay, okay, boat, boat. You and I have gotten along just fine up until now. Okay, there we go. Now, can anybody confirm that's all of them? Can anybody confirm that it's just 10? <laughs> I'm gonna check to see if it's just 10. Oh, okay. Somebody say, LinkedIn saying that is all of them. All right. So blue coins. Blue coins are settled. Also, we haven't heard it in a while. Get ready for more excellent voice acting. Also, just in case you forgot how to use the rocket nozzle. I mean, I guess this is a very important time for you to remember how to use it. Am I, how, do I need that life? No, I don't.
Well, Langton, I'm glad you're good at math. Because... Because I, I can't I can't add that up. I'm just like, does the guide say I'm done? Yep, alright. I'm done then. Guide says I'm done. <laughs> this part's a little bit obnoxious. Just a just a little bit. It's like, do you know how to rocket jump? You better. Ninety-six and twenty-four are multiples of eight. Well, I mean, yeah. I never said that I was good at realizing that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm good at some multiples of eight. But not all of them. Okay. Also, something I didn't realize, and I, I mean, I might just be head cannoning here, but I, I'm pretty sure the flood from, uh, the flood in the plaza came from the hot tub, which would make a lot of sense to me, honestly. I, I, I never thought about, like, I never thought about that before. Yeah, and I'm good with, like, you know... 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and then 256. Uh, I don't know why I'm just letting him do that. <laughs> Oop, okay, give, give me up there. Oh, Flood's stuttering a little bit. I hope that doesn't mean anything too, too serious. Also, these wacky looking bullet men. All right, there we go. Time. Oh, what's that? Like 300 hours? It's a new world record. <laughs> Whoa, Dad, we're gonna die! We're gonna hit the ground and die! Gad's not here to fix him. Mario, look. Mario, I realize your jetpack just died, but take a look at that. The power of the stars has returned to the castle. I mean, the shines have returned to the, the plaza. Yeah, you're freaking welcome. something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Then why did she think so? There's a plot hole here. Someday, when I'm bigger... I 
I want to fight that Mario again. That's my boy. Well put, son. The Royal Cooper Line is as strong as ever. But for now, let's just rest a while. Son, I'm not huge anymore. I am no longer huge and in the wall. The vacation starts now. Okay, so he's fine. So that part where we made you think he was dying, just completely of no consequence. Just, we just got you, got you. Yes, I mean, I realize I took a little while to beat the game. Mario Galaxy stream win. Probably not for a while. <laughs> because knowing me, I would probably stream Galaxy 1 and 2 back to back. And then Peach caught the fish. You know, for a game centered around water, Mario Sunshine has a suspicious lack of fishing minigame. I don't know. I don't know about... Let me... I'll just say this. I'll tell you when Galaxy happens. When it happens. <laughs> that's, that's all I know to tell you. It'll happen when the planets align and the, the moon hits me just right. And I'm feeling particularly hungry that day. But I feel like I, I still want to wait a little while longer because Galaxy, I went and I like 100 percented both of them. And I, I don't know, I feel like they're still too fresh. I need to give it a little longer. The end. Man, I can't wait for this plot point to be addressed in Super Mario Sunshine 2. Alright, save. Okay, so yeah, that counts as the last uh, Delfino Shine. But we're not, we're not quite though. There's still one more thing to do. Still one more thing to do. And that is, of course... To go over this way. <laughs> you gotta get the extra credits picture. No, I'm probably good on that one. I think I think that's that's good. That's that's fine. I mean, we got the stuff. And you too can look like this in Mario Odyssey. Which suspiciously does not have Piantas in it. How weird is that? Okay. <laughs> yes, give me 24 Shine Sprite. And I'm pretty sure your reward for collecting 120 Shine Sprites is... NOTHING! Good day to you, sir! You stole fizzy lifting drink! <laughs> 